Hi, today I'm going to show you how to tie your silk scarf. Now along with our collection of secondhand cashmere, we also sell vintage silk scarves. So these are also sustainable because they are secondhand or vintage, just like our cashmere is. So cashmere and silk is obviously a really great pairing. I've got a white t-shirt on today to give you a blank canvas to concentrate on the tie. We're going to gradually get harder and more varied. I've picked up this scarf today. At the time of filming this, it's still available, but it might have gone by the time it comes out. So the first one I'm gonna do is a really simple tie, and I'm just going to find the two corners and create a diamond shape. From there, we're going to grab the two ends, the longest ends. This is quite a big scarf to be doing it on, but it works really well for a smaller one and just tying it like that. So you can double knot it if it's a bit long at the back or if it's a longer scarf, but that's just a really simple one to start with. Taking this one a little bit further, keep it like this and actually cross over at the back to bring around these front two bits. Make sure it's a bit loose so it's not tight against your neck. And then just tie that in a knot on the front adds a little bit more detail than the one before. Another really simple one, just requires a little bit more folding. So keep that triangle shape, fold the other end in the middle, and then create a thinner scarf shape. A handy tip to use is to do this folding and then press it, iron it gently, and then your scarf will stay in place easier. So now I've got it in this sort of thinner shape just around the neck and you can tie this once and tie it again and that's a great little way of doing it. Next we're going to take it back to that diamond shape, swing it around to your back. So once it's around your back sort of get it over your shoulders because it needs to move, scrunch it up a bit. Bring this side, whichever side you like, across here then grab the longer side and put it over your head like this with your arm and then you're just going to keep tension on this one and pull this one behind then it takes a bit of sorting out this one and it's a bit of a big scarf to do it with but for demonstration purposes you now tie this end these two together and you now have a sort of side version of that first one we did now this next one is for those of you who don't like a massive scarf. It's quite a neat one and it's quite close fitting to your neck. And silk is surprisingly warm, so this is a great one if you feel the cold around your neck or there's a draft between the coat and your chin. So roll it up again, cross the two over twice, keeping it fairly secure to your neck, and then take it round the back and tie in a knot. I really like how simple this one looks, but it's a bit stylish with the knot, you can see. Keeping it in this shape, we're gonna press it against our neck like this and bring it around to the front. So twist it once, then put one of them behind the loop closest to your neck, then adjust it and you can tie it in a knot. You can move it to one side if that's what you prefer or keep it in the middle. This next one I think is really cool, but it's a bit hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, start again behind the neck and then just start twisting around itself. I think you need to do it quite tight for the desired look, but don't strangle yourself. Because you're doing it quite tight, it will naturally twist. Give it another one in there. And then it needs to go in between here. I've done this one very tight. <laughs> So put it down the back, keeping your finger in the middle to create a loop. Then pull the remaining ends from the back to the front through that hole you kept. And there you go. I like that one, it was successful. And my final one is a bit different. It's great for if you have a big pattern that you want to show off. So this time we're not making um, triangles. We're going to tie two ends together, 
to make a sort of rectangle. There we go, same on the other side. And that's it basically. The next is all in how you put it on. If you've got a specific pattern, this one's a bit upside down all over the place, make sure you get the pattern the right way up. So these are your armholes. I'm gonna put my arm through here, put it over my shoulder, just like you're putting on a jacket. Pop it over that shoulder. This one is better with a bigger scarf. You might struggle if it's a bit smaller, but there we go. I'll show you the back. So it's a big, almost like a wrap you've made, but it's a bit more secure. You've got your hands free. It's not gonna slip off your shoulders. So that's my final one. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was useful to you. If it was, we'll do it again. Uh, just let us know what you'd like to see. It's also worth knowing we release big collections of these silk scarves, big batches that you can shop on our website. We have all kinds of designers. We have Hermes, we have Christian Dior, and then we have the more affordable options like Richard Allen, Jigsaw. We have a huge collection, depending on the designers you like or the budget you're on, there is something for everyone. And if you want to be notified when the collections go live, then sign up to our newsletters.